Ladies and gentlemen, in the studio, it's been a long time, the one, the only, we know him as the administrator. <laughs> it's, 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 you got a jersey with that on there in the big bowl type, the administrator. <laughs> What's Kenny Wayne Jones. How you good morning. Doing, How are you doing, good sir? Good morning. Good morning. We're going to get a little bit closer to that microphone. Okay. Uh, I usually say leave lipstick on it, but I won't <laughs> say that to you. All right, man, there's there's a, there's a lot going on. And first of all, in your position, and I, for people who don't know this, um, uh, we've known Kenny for a long time. He was a member of the state senate for a long time and one of the uh, many guests on the show for, and, and always when we invited him on, he came on. We appreciate that. And now in a position as the administrator for Hines County, is that it? That's it. That's it. What do you do as an administrator? Uh, everything. You. Uh, well, I'm sure, I'm sure you're going to say that to validate your paycheck. Look, but what do you look, do? Every, everything. I'm telling you. You. Uh, if it if it moves, you got to put your hand on it. So, it's budgeting, it's staff, it's planning, everything. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Here's the, the – there are two things here. Let me get this garbage thing out of the way. It has nothing to do with you guys in Hines County, or does it? Does that affect you? Because the governor, the, the, the mayor is – he's screwing this thing up royally. And, and apparently, is it Sunday, the last day they're going to be picking up garbage? Uh, I know it's coming to an end because I saw it. But, no, it has nothing to do with uh, Hines County. None of County. your people in the Hines County area? No. I mean, you know, we Hines County has waste management. Yeah. So if waste, if waste management picks your garbage up, you're in the county. Now, as far as the municipality, uh, they they got to do They're on their own. Right. As the water crisis continues, this is on our website. I think J.T. Mitchell wrote the story. Our news director, a Mississippi Capital City officials from Hines County have missed. No, no, this is the other one. Uh, this is the deadline that you guys missed. But the, 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 the last day of garbage picked up. Uh, is, I do believe, on Sunday. So I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen after that uh, in uh, in the city of Jackson, as if they needed uh, that kind of worry with everything else going on. Right. All right, let's talk about this, because there are so many different questions that I have about this. Okay. Uh, now, explain, first of all, why in the world you guys would miss this deadline on a grant. Well, And, uh, and for folks, hey, let me get... Um, it, just so I can set the stage here, as the water crisis continues across Mississippi's capital city, from uh, officials from Hines County have missed a deadline to apply for funds from the Mississippi Municipality and County Water Infrastructure, which is the MCWI grant program. The funds, which were anticipated to total about $17 million, would have been used to repair the failing water system across Jackson and surrounding cities, as well as the OB Curtis water plant. Um, Hines County Administrator Kenny Wayne Jones said the county plans to apply during the next round. So explain that. Well, you know, we knew looking from the legislative designation that they gave that we were uh, we were eligible to apply this time or we could wait the next time. So first of all, the thing is we didn't miss anything. We sit around the table and made a conscious decision that it would behoove the, the county to apply on uh, in the spring on the second round because on the first round of this grant, they only allocated 40% of that money to be put out there. Now, in the spring, on the second part, you're going to have more money because it's 60%. So we felt like with 60% money, give us another few months to get some mm-hmm. projects in line, then it'll be better, suitable. Or more. Why would you do that, though? I mean, number one, you don't know what the amount of money you're going to get on the next one. You had sixteen. Was it sixteen or seventeen million dollars? No, it'll, it'll be. It'll be. Uh, you know, it, that, that's not going to change. That's not going to change. The amount of money is not going to change. The only way the amount of money changes now is if we get a few more projects that we were looking for. You know, Paul, we're trying to be thoughtful and strategic with our our fund. We took into account multiple factors, including our goals and priorities how and where we were using staff and our timeline for all our projects. So we didn't just arbitrarily come up with applying on the second round. We had attorneys sitting at the table and everybody. So yeah. I don't know how they just popped out there that we missed anything when it was a decision. It was about $434 million in there, and of that, most of it was already allocated by other municipalities in the state? 
Yeah, most of it, right. Uh-huh. About four and fifty million, I think. And so they, uh, most of the other municipalities came out and got the money. But you guys decided you're not going to give anything at all to the Jackson uh, uh, water system or sewer system? No, no, no. Never decided anything like that. We are going to give them some money. Now, look, uh, the total of that amount is going to end up between the city and the county to mm-hmm. be almost $110 million because uh, we're going to do the 17, uh, probably 17.5. When we get the matching funds for that, even if we were going to do it, we had planned to give the whole $35 million to the city. They're going to do something like uh, uh, 20, uh, I, I don't know what the city was doing, but it, it came out. They do, well, they're doing 42, were they not? Or was it around 42? Yeah, somewhere around there. So if they did that, if they did that with the matching funds and ours, that's where I'm getting the figure of 110 million that they're going to put. But here, here's my question. And I know this thing gets a little bit complicated because there's this other, when, when is this other round of funds coming through? In the spring. Uh, that we got to submit an application in the spring. So you're looking at. So by the time you do the application and everything else, you don't know when you could actually break ground to start fixing things that need to be fixed. Well, no. What we're doing now, like South Jackson, we're looking at a water mm-hmm. tower project. So with us getting ready to build a new detention facility in which we're breaking ground on, we got the ground breaking uh, Monday mm-hmm. at 10 o'clock out there at Henley Young on Magdal Road. Uh, we, we're getting ready to do that. But also, uh, we, that water tower is going to take almost $11 million to complete. So those are the projects that we're looking at yeah. and seeing can we get match money for them because water projects right now are a hot item. So, but that water tower is not only going to be for the detention center, it's going to be for the people out there in South Jackson who uh, went four days at the last crisis we had, natural disaster. So. Kenny, were, for people who don't know this around the rest of the, the state, when you start talking about Hines County and, and putting some money into the Jackson water and sewer system, what part of Hines County itself outside the municipality is used by the, the citizens use that? the Jackson water system or sewer system? I, I, I'm i not quite sure because, you know, it gets confusing when you get to the boundary lines. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, when you got Byram and Elwoods and Bolton and, and all of that, all of our municipalities that we got in Hines County, then, you know, it those boundary ran, lines get skewed sometimes. So uh, I don't know, but as far as the water system, with Jackson being the most prominent, in Hines County, it's our duty and responsibility to be with them on those projects. Well, and, and I know that this being that the, you are the administrator, you understand this question somewhere, but how do you figure into some of the lawsuits? Well, I mean, the lawsuits are going to come. Lawsuits are always going to come. But, I mean, you guys are part of that. Are, are you you on a record to be part of, part of that uh, lawsuit as one of the plaintiffs? No. Well, not plaintiffs, but uh, the... the, uh, the uh, on uh, on either side, which of uh, the Jackson side or the Hines County side, are you part of the part of that? No, I don't. With are the, you being sued? I guess I should ask. No, 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 not at all, not at all. We're not being we're not being sued, and you know, there's a contentious contentious relationship between the the city and the state. So we're sitting back in Hines County kind of looking at where we kind of play into what we're supposed to be doing. Well, is there some contentious uh, relationships between the city and the county? Uh, no, no, not at all. We, we work well together, just like we're working together now on a, a misdemeanor so you're, you're, facility. So you're telling me, before we have a quick break here, you're telling me that some members of the Board of Supervisors or the Hines County, Hines County are not, not saying reneging, but having second thoughts about putting money into the water system of Jackson? No, no, no. They are committed 100% to putting money into the water system of Jackson. and we're gonna But help. you didn't want to do it on this round. You wanted to wait and take a chance on the next one. Yeah, you had two rounds of funding, so you, were, right. you didn't have to do it this time. Well, I know that, but... I'll I'll speak to that when we come back in just a moment with, ladies and gentlemen, the administrator. He is Kenny Wayne Jones. Got to have a sound effect on that one, Kenny. All right, let me get back to Kenny Wayne uh, Jones, and uh, we will uh, continue the conversation here. 
Well, there was four hundred and fifty million dollars in this in in the amount of money in this municipal grant. Right. City of Jackson needed this more than just about any other state, any other city in the in the in the country. To be honest with you, with all of the the flooding and and the the forty eight fifty days of uh, boil water notice and everything else. 434 of that 450 was already taken by other municipalities that did their due diligence and applied for it. Right, that left right. $16 million, and you guys just decided not to do it. And you decided to wait to get a better deal or to put more attention to it. And, and, and it's hard to understand why you would do that, even though you said there's still time. Oh, the clock is. is ticking. On on, uh, on on this thing happening again. Okay, well, you know, the city of Jackson got to get its funding in first so they can uh, solidify what they're going to do from a budgetary standpoint. But also, now, look, I mm-hmm. told you we also knew that the majority of the money will be available in the next round. The legislator limit the award this time to only 40%, and mm-hmm. everybody jumped in at the same time with 40% to be done. So if you do the math and look at that, and there's going to be 60, 60% uh, of the appropriation coming from that grant on the second round, then, you know, it's the same submittal that we were going to do anyway. It's just uh, six months in between it to get to a bigger pot of money. To me, that's smart. Anybody, so you, yeah. are you guaranteed more than sixteen million? So you can you can hold off and say later. Uh, here we go. We got we got you a better deal. Let me let me try to give you this in the proper perspective. Now mm-hmm. we just got, you know, we're dealing with opera funds and we have to deal with them a certain way. Now we just got in another eighteen million dollars because uh, the 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 Espy firm works for the county and they are they are very very effective in what they do. So so we just got eighteen. $18 million. All of this is water. $4 million for White Oak Creek. Uh, Boga Chitter Creek, $4 million. That's in Presidential Hills. Lynch Creek, that's Lynch Street Creek, $5 million for that. Uh, South Park Estates, that, I think that's Branch of Big Creek. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got $1.5 million. And Robinson and Branch Creek subdivision, $3.5 million. So that's $18 million in all. With those type of funds coming into the county, this is what we're looking at. In the next six months, we might have an opportunity to get more money, Paul, and and some of the opera money that we use to do something, we may be able to use that money yeah. for that. So we'll have more money to put in from the project than the original $17 million. So if we're looking at a 60% appropriation grant. When's the, when, Kenny, when's the deadline for that? Uh, the deadline where in the fall? I mean, no, in the for, spring? for the for the new uh, for the uh, new uh, money to to be appropriated. Uh, when wh- do you have to have it in? You missed this deadline. Right. What is the next deadline? Okay, well, this de- they they had two deadlines. You got you got a fall yeah. deadline and a spring yeah. deadline, and we knew that. And I'm I keep telling you the money was broken in half, so we didn't miss anything. We didn't have to do it. We didn't well, have to submit. What is the next deadline? In other words, you missed this deadline. I think what it's is the be next? In you're, March. you're the administrator. What's the next deadline? March will be the next deadline with the money being allocated by July. Will you be ready for that? Oh, we're ready for it now. We could have submitted this time. Uh, you had you had this one done and you've held it back. Ah, uh, I still got it. I mean, we had everything mm-hmm. done for this middle this time. We just made a conscious decision to uh, put more information. Yeah. And did you relay had. that to uh, the mayor or the the uh, city council of uh, Jackson? Uh, no, no, no. We told the city council we we're working because we met with them uh, a couple of days ago. So you told them that you were not going to submit it. You're going to miss this deadline. No, no, no. Uh, uh-uh, I did not. Hmm. Were I, they expecting that money? They still going to get that money. Well, but, <laughs> but they still going. They still going. They, they still expecting it this money. round. Uh, I don't know because we never did talk about you mm-hmm. expecting money. We told you we're going to give you the money, and we are going to give it to you. Well, so, it, be, but it would be good to know because if they were expecting it, that means they would settle on the sixteen, and uh, then your job's done. The seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, seventeen. The seventeen point five. That's what it's going to be. Uh, yeah, all of our paperwork is done. Mm-hmm. 
that paperwork was sitting right there, and all we had to do was push a button and send it. I got you. Right. So you're sticking by this and saying that you think they're going to get more money and it's a better deal if they just wait and get it the next round. Uh, the county. The, the county. county will be able to get right. a better deal with the 60% allocation coming from the grant. And it would be a better deal for the county and the city, is it, what you're saying? It really will be, right, yes. Uh, how does your what, what what water systems in the county area are? And I, I'm, this is probably all of them. But what areas are you talking about that you guys need uh, first priority help with? Uh, water system. When yeah. you say water system, you know you only got water and sewer. I should say. Yeah, water and sewer. I mean, those those are your basic elements. We're letting the city we're letting the city make the determinations, and then they're working with our public works mm-hmm. to see where those facets are. And uh, and 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 just by doing that, we're getting a better understanding of some, where some of those things that that you're asking about now. Yeah. But it's nothing that we have to prioritize because it's not with us. Is the allocation of these funds, the overseer of these funds, the checks and balances of these funds that are coming in from state and feds from your office? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, we have yet to get a determination from the federal government on who's going to be who's going to complete the oversight you know they really right you know they talked about having a committee huh. put together for oversight yeah they also talked about uh uh putting putting this and that together but we don't know anything about that we're just going to do what we're told to do from our standpoint of uh allocations when we receive money now ask the administrator i think uh, with the money that we anticipate, I'll basically be signing off on about two hundred and seventy million dollars, and yeah, and, yeah, and that has uh, that'll be the first time that it's got to make you a little bit nervous, though. I mean, who's going to come looking for you? Hey, look, they, hey, <laughs> they, they've been looking for me a long time. You know, that's, I told you I got my ticket to the moon, and the judge said that my money was good, and I think that's the last time we talked. I think it is, and you're <laughs> absolutely right. So, so look, uh, that made me real, real slow on signing anything. <laughs> have you, have you been in commission, uh, in communication with uh, Benny Thompson at all about this? Oh yes, we, we've talked to the federal government. Uh, 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 we talk to them all the time. We're working hard with uh, USDA and Rural Development yeah. on trying to get a whole lot of things, and we got our hands on the pulse with Congressman Thompson. Now, yeah. Cong- Congressman Thompson walked into the city to say that the feds were going to help with the emergency. So now this is the first time you got the feds, the state of Mississippi, and the municipality and the county on almost one accord until yeah. until we get some criteria. We'll 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 see if that one accord is, is in tune. Uh, you you may be singing in a different choir somewhere. I'm not sure where you're meeting to sing this song, but or you're off tune by half mile. Right. I, uh, and, because I mean, Kenny, you you got to you got to uh, voice the opinion of uh, Congressman Turn uh, Thompson a little bit when right. he keeps saying, "Come on, guys, we want to help you here," but. Show me the plan, right? And, right. and you got you got to be a little frustrated. And I got to believe that some members of the uh, the board of supervisors are saying the same thing. They are, you know. You can you talk a great game, but show me the plan. Yeah, they they are. They've asked for the plan. They waiting to see the plan. So so now. So they, have they seen the plan? No, they haven't. Uh. Uh-uh. And and this is what you're tune, tuning up the the choir to sing on one accord on. Uh, look, we're gonna have to sing. You got to think positive, Paul. We're gonna have to sing on one accord. I, listen, I can think positive, but when you look out the window trying to think positive, and you see garbage <laughs> building up <laughs> right. and, and a boil water notice on your faucet, it's kind of hard <laughs> to do that. And business is leaving. The only people making money in the city of Jackson, hell, is you all. Yeah. Well, you know, we looking at it, and it's affecting. When you start talking about things like uh, economic development and industry, we are having a hard time now because our revenues are down also. Well, look, I I do appreciate you coming on. It's always good talking to you. I I, I always enjoy the conversation. Don't be a stranger. It's always a pleasure. You, You know where I am. When you uh, when you have those um, football jerseys with the big administrator in front of it, send me right, one. Right, I'll send you the one. The administrator. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Appreciate it, sir. Take care, man. Always.